Hi, my name is Mike Hickman, and I'm deciding to do a playthrough of Icewind Dale. They say that and, is the greatest of all teachers. And so, and I'm a beginner at new of this. So, um, if you have any tips or comments to help me out, it would be greatly appreciated. But, anyways, this is the, the lead in or guide into the airplane, so I will let uh, you all enjoy the, the story of this. And of course, if you don't want to watch uh, this and you want to get to the pick, you can always uh, skip on the head.
Okay, so that is the uh, end of the introductory. Okay, now when I do this uh, playthrough, just let you know I'm not a professional uh, uh, guide or, or gamer, but I do, I'm above average, and um, and I, I do usually beat a lot of the games that I play. Um, and so, uh, when I play through this, you'll see a lot of my, my thought processes, or I'll explain a lot of my thought processes, and, and how I go about and do things, and, and solve and beat the games that I beat. Um, and, um, and so, um, if you do see me struggle, what I might do is I might occasionally go to a guide, but only as an ultimate last resort, and if I'm stumped, um, I mean, you don't get stumped. Um, Self-analysis, you can also uh, put in the comments uh, tips or suggestions um, if you think I'm stumped or, or something. Um, but again, that's only for ultimate last resort. Um, and if I do get uh, some comments on on on, on some things uh, relating to the game and 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 things that can help others in the video, I'll. Uh, I'll be sure to uh, give you credit and put in the in the the video uh, uh, and everything. Um, so I just kind of wanted to uh, uh, explain that. So you can uh, so you know I'm not just professional, but you know I'm just not a casual person either. So so enough explaining on that. I'll actually get started. So we're gonna go single player, a new game of course. Okay, and these are all just uh, the pre-mades, so what I do is I just delete them all because I don't believe in using pre-mades. Okay, so you're going to create a new character. Okay, so what I like to do is, uh, here's the party I'm going to use. It's a very um, well-rounded party. Um, you don't have to follow this exact party, um, but um, and this is you're gonna have want to bounce between fighters and clerics and mages and and you only need one thief and and whatnot and so doesn't really matter whether male or female. Um, so my first, uh, character is going to be a, a fighter. And I choose a half work because you can go up to a 19 strength. And what's good about fighters is you can get Grand Mastery. And so you you always want one fighter in your group. It's better than a Paladin um, and there are combinations there. And I like making my guys the good guys. You know, you don't... Uh, I have to because no paladins in this group. Um, okay, so well now what you're shooting for is around eighty eight, eighty nine, ninety one points. I usually do that for most of my characters. So I have to do a number of rerolls usually. And usually I average about 25 to 250 rerolls. You know, and I mean, this is probably. The least uh, 
you know, fun part of the game. I'll, I'll store it just in case I can't get better than that. But it's really helpful I, I, to show you guys a, a really good uh, um, party and explain, you know, the process behind each decision. So, we'll go with that. Okay. So now we're going to see if this is enough points. And this is good enough for a fighter, so we're going to go with him. There. Okay. Now, I usually go with something like that. You can, uh, Bastard Sword is the most powerful sword in the game because you can use it either with or without a shield. And... I also like sword and shield because it makes you hard to be hit by archers and and stuff. So and so I got one slot. So I usually use uh. If at all, Morningstar is a, is a backup in case I'm against uh, very nasty undeads or something. Okay, I'm, I mean, some people are picky about their appearance and stuff, but, but I'm usually not. And since I'm in the, you know, I need to do things faster because I won't, won't want the video so long. Um, okay. There we go with that. So that's the first character. Okay, now you know, I want to get um, a monk. No, we want to go for a because he's uh, it's flip pop what you and she can do, you know. It uh, doesn't matter whether it's this character or next character, but you should go with a. Uh, a cleric a thief or, or a monk as my next character but it, it really doesn't matter I'm trying to get a A good, the right, you know, it's trying to find the right portrait is not always easy. Okay, I gotta hurry up.
That looks kind of orcish. Mm. Okay, I think we'll go with that. Even though... Okay. So we'll go half orc again. Go with cleric thief. Go with P. I look, uh, good. Okay, so. Now I'm in the, the trying to get, uh, somewhere close to 90 again. Oops, I just, though sometimes I do, I need to pay closer attention. Sometimes I accidentally skip. Because I could have used that 89. Okay, this one's taking a really long time, so I apologize, but there's just a lot of things goes sometimes. I wish I can get around in 87, 88, 89, 90. But this one's being stubborn this time. Oh my goodness, the saying it's being stubborn. It's usually not this hard to get a to get a high number. Oh my goodness. Of course I would do this when I make a video. Oh. Okay. 
It always does this. It lulls you and makes you skip. Especially when I make a video. Okay, I wish it wouldn't skip and wouldn't low me and just give me the dang number. There. Okay, there we go. There's the cleric thief. Took me long enough. Okay, there I go, got that part done. Run a flail. Okay. Armor of Faith.
Oops. It's not typing as well as I'd like there. Okay. Okay, so this is long enough for the first video. So I will continue character creation into the second video.